Unauthorized network access. Detected. Warmer. Cold. Hi. Ooh, getting warmer. Ooh, red hot. Welcome home, Agent. Apologies for the shock treatment back in New York, but we had to make sure you were ready to join us. I I'm not sure where your loyalties lie, since you've killed me once already. Uh, Kelso is confident in your abilities, but I don't let just anyone join my organization. I had to learn that one the hard way. So, I put together a little test to see if you're ready to see how deep the rabbit hole really goes. I hope... When we finally meet face to face, you will understand who is the real threat to the division. Happy hunting, Agent. Remote connection lost. Echo, report to Judiciary Square. We've got hostiles in the gallery. Ugh. No, Isaac. You can do this. Hostile forces detected. Welcome, Agent. Oh, and watch out for glass craps. Hostiles opening a supply drop. to restore the power to access the elevator services. Serious trauma detected. Power online. Power online. Wow, Isaac, your job is really boring. Safe area entered. Explosives detected. They've reached the bunker. You're running out of time. I can smell it. 
Local power offline. Agent, restart the generator so I can override the electronic locks.
Activated. Power online. I have unlocked the door, Agent. Get to the archive room. Watch out for the traps. Steam detected. That's one of Glass's traps. Agent, I recommend running. in the labyrinth aren't meant for you, Agent. But you're smart. I'm sure you'll find a way through without killing yourself. See you on the other side. Medical assistance needed. Unauthorized Warhound. Watch my six. Enemy shields have been activated. Eight. Keep those drones off me while I disable the shields. Hostile striker drone detected.
attacker drone detected. I guess we should add destroy experimental warhound to your resume. Well done, Agent. Anna, we're ready to go. Printing access to the rabbit hole escape route. Glad you are still with us, Vanguard. You go ahead and do the division thing, you know, salvage, whatever you think might be useful. I need to meet Manning. I want to keep him waiting. I, uh, look forward to working with you, Agent. See you soon. Agent, your trials are over. Return to the White House to claim your prize. Agent, well, I can't believe I'm saying this. I, I need you to go to the basement of the White House. There's someone you should meet. Hey, Agent. Welcome to my new home, the Panic Room. Manny's not ready to trust me. I can't really say I blame him. Though as much as I'd like to be out on the field with you, it looks like our work will have to continue with a few conditions. For now. Dad is in D.C., right? Yep, joined one of the civilian settlements. You don't want to make him more comfortable in one of Nat's apocalypse bunkers? <laughs> yeah, that's not a good idea. Mm, trouble in paradise? More like eternal rivalry and hostile takeovers. My dad is a lot of things, but ready to bend the knee to Nat is not one of those things. If you brought him in... Honestly, I don't want to. I'm his daughter, but he doesn't know me. Not in any way that really matters. You're daddy's perfect recruiting tool. Yeah. I would rather be his daughter than the honeypot. You are an excellent honeypot. Well, that gives me an idea. 
I don't want to know. It's nothing dangerous. Could be fun. Mm, yeah. That's how it starts and ends with a bunch of senators' fingers trying to get into the jar. <sighs> but you do what you have to do to close the deal, right? Oh, you really hate him, don't you? I wish I did. Uh, he's still my dad. And it was either be the arm candy who sweetened the deal or be broke and homeless. So I smiled and was what everyone wanted me to be. The perfect daughter who didn't mind getting her cheeks pinched by dirty old men at max benefits. If it meant we got the contracts renewed. Looks like Daddy Dearest is moving up in the world. Sure. If you consider being a range master in the White House basement and move up instead of lateral or town. It should be more secure. Sure. More prestigious, at least. Uh, or it makes him look like a traitor and the leader of a military coup. That net spin? Not yet, but mm, soon enough. Foreign weapons manufacturer backs sell of rogue agents who have taken the White House. They're not rogue. Not according to Isaac, but it's just a matter of time before she turns all of this to her advantage. You really think she can pull it off? She already has. If Claire hadn't tied her tech to the Shade Network, she would have sacked the White House, eliminated all the agents, and installed her puppet as the president. But Ellis went missing, and she crippled her tech, so huh, plans change. Well, he's not dead. That's a shame. Beyond all reasonable odds, he survived the crash and was with the hyenas. Nat stashed him with the council until she could get the Warhounds back online. Proxy wars and supplying local resistance to weaken your enemies. Yeah, she really is pulling from all the playbooks. Well, she is her father's daughter. More of an ice queen than a honeypot, though. <laughs> to you, maybe. Where is Alice now? At the White House. They don't know he's working with Nat? No, they don't. And there's really no way to tell them without getting on someone's radar that we really don't want to be on. Well, we have him. Who? Chicken Hawk. Am, uh, am I supposed to know who Chicken Hawk is? Yeah, sorry. Uh, POTUS, Ellis, Black Tusk had him in custody. Did you take the White House? Not yet, but it's a matter of time. We're not ready. I know. You have to stall them. If you've got any bright ideas... <sighs> Where are they holding him? Camp White Oak. Okay, uh, Luna still has access to their database and comms. Luna can leak his location and buy us some time. The network's almost ready. We just need a couple more weeks. Well done, Agent. You've passed the first test. I hope you found it, uh, illuminating. Bridge was very good at pretending to be the person you wanted her to be. It was her special talent. After the poison, people stopped pretending. Bridge stopped pretending. Try to fix the mistakes she helped create. And now for your next challenge. Patience. I'll let you know when we're ready to start the next trial, Hercules. How does it feel? How does what feel, Keener? To kill your sister. Fuck you, Keener. Oh, you had no other choice. I wouldn't have done it if I did. You did the right thing. Your approval makes me feel so much better. We're supposed to be a phoenix, but you... <laughs> you're a lioness. What are you talking about? Fierce, loyal, working for the pride, protecting the king while he sits on his throne, getting fat off the kills you provide him. We're not talking about lions anymore, are we? How do you feel knowing Calvin McManus could have prevented all of this and chose not to? Enough of your riddles, Keener. Now, you have no reason to believe me, but since you trust him so much, Maybe you'll believe Isaac. Okay, so, you're obsessed with Gordon Amherst and believe he may be a threat to national security, but can't prove that, and all you have to go on is some rants about climate change? And his association with Vitaly Chernenko. Vitaly, uh, what now? Chernenko, Russian virologist who specializes in 3D printing. Well, Max dead. How did it happen? Oh, she didn't die. Well, not yet, but she will. She just signed her death certificate. She didn't join Nat's little army. She did not. She opened her house. And now, all the refugees are wearing Merit Classic tees while drinking the family reserve and going to turn the Rose Garden into a farm for the community. 
Well, she was always a humanitarian at heart. She's not the one that got away, Keener. Have to admire a woman. With those means, choosing community over her personal safety. You sound like a lovesick puppy, you know that? What can I say? I love complicated women. <laughs> yeah, Mac is a lot of things, but good for you is not one of them. <sighs> oh, you're a good friend, Bridge. I'm not that good of a friend. Besides, as much as Mac and you would make a horrible couple, I'm more worried about what Nat would do to you. Why would Nat care if Mac and I got together? Let's just say you wouldn't be the first suitor she got rid of. You think she's two-faced? She's a Hydra, and each head would be more than happy to destroy the competition. How's the family? Good. Stable. I guess it's a good thing you had family with a farm that could take them in. Yeah, lucky. How did your aunt afford to buy the farm upstate? Real story or cover story? Mm, cover story. A long-lost uncle, three times removed, died, and we inherited the property. She was struggling to find a place to live, and we agreed to let her live there for free. She kept it up and let the family visit and have a vacation from time to time. Real story? I used my division bonus to buy a backup plan. <sighs> Smart. I used my division salary to cover alimony to my second ex-wife and bought some crypto. Really? <laughs> yes. In hindsight, you are much better at investing than I am. Always invest in real estate. Especially real estate that has hidden bunkers and panic rooms. We are not talking about this. Come on. I just want to know how much control she has over the manufacturing process. Uh, as much as someone who has the money and understands the fundamentals, but wouldn't pick up a soldering iron for fear of it messing up her nails or pantsuit. So, uh, complete control in all the ways that matter. Sure, corporate keener. Not really a fan of this version of your emotional evolution. Well, I'm just working on understanding where we went wrong so we can make sure we don't uh, repeat the mistakes of the past. Ah, I was wrong. I prefer corporate keener to introspective keener. This model makes me uncomfortable. And we all need to evolve if we're uh, going to survive. Where have you been the name? Yeah, how's that going for you? Actively looking for a way to get Nat's leash off my neck. You could stop wearing the black tusk girdle. Oh. <laughs> Oh, but if I did that, then your little plan won't work. Operation Cassandra depends on me staying in Nat's good graces. Soon. We're almost ready. And after she lost Heather to budget cuts, I think we can land the Cyclops. Don't call her that. The eye patch is kind of hot. Who's the lovesick puppy now? Congratulations, Agent. You survived the trials. I hope you're beginning to appreciate the reach of my network, and considering what you could bring to the table. That's enough for now, Hercules. The next test is for Leto. I hope you're up to the challenge. Welcome home, Agent. Apologies for the shock treatment back in New York, but we had to make sure you were ready to join us. I, I'm not sure where your loyalties lie, since you've killed me once already. Uh, Kelso is confident in your abilities, but I don't let just anyone join my organization. Had to learn that one the hard way. So, I put together a little test to see if you're ready to see how deep the rabbit hole really goes. I hope, when we finally meet face to face, you will understand who is the real threat to the Division. Happy hunting, Agent. She didn't do anything weird to you, right? Uh, what do you mean weird? You know, like, inject you with anything. Drugs, a tracker. <laughs> you have got to stop talking to Vic. Seriously, uh, other than the scan and the vitamins, did she give you anything? Did anything else happen that I should know about? Yeah, yeah, actually. Every day, I would black out for like eight to ten hours. Really? Yeah. It's called sleep, Manny. You should take your own advice and go to bed. I'm just trying to understand what happened so I can help and keep us safe. You want to help? Stop talking and give me a massage. Help me sleep so I can keep growing this human inside me. You're right. But you sure Nat didn't replace the baby with an antenna or a bomb? Okay, that's enough of it, conspiracies. You really need to find some new friends.
We found a note, but no idea where she could have gone. She'll be okay. You know that woman can't be killed. She's too stubborn to die. <laughs> yeah. I'm just worried Vic might be right. You really have to stop listening to Vic. Go visit John or help Nell on the farm. Vic is not a good role model. I know. I will. Soon. I just... I need to find out what happened to Kelso first. Well, ask Jack and Wally if they can check the mobile shade server. Or have Birdie access Black Tusk's comms. They're probably looking for her, too. And if she is a hunter, they're probably talking about it. I tried. They've been quiet. Since White Oak, the comms have all been really quiet. I guess they took Birdie's security breach seriously. <laughs> the Black Tusk have gone dark. <laughs> That's funny. I think I preferred intercepting their shit-talking. It was oddly comforting, but now, yeah, it's just a black void with no intel, and the mobile shade server is picking up intel about Keener and some place called... Hmm, that's weird. Yeah. The server data is normally useful, right? Yeah, in hindsight. But I can't make heads or tails of these comms. Does Isaac want us to go to... she's doing, okay? She's coming to D.C. with them! Yes, that is correct. They are the most dangerous people on the planet! No, no, they're not, Manny. Who is more dangerous than Aaron fucking Keener? Calvin McManus, Natalia Sokolova, Birdie, Mel, Dr. Summers, Vic when he opens his mouth, Daddy Douglas, me, if you keep screaming like that? Oh, I'm sorry, I just... I've given up so much time and energy and I trusted her. I, this whole time, was she working with them? Was everything we did together a lie? Hey! Of course not. Kelso is complicated, but she's not a liar. She's ex-CIA. You never know. Yeah, she is ex-CIA because she's too fucking honest, and when she sees something wrong, she fixates on trying to fix it. You're, like, way smarter than me, aren't you? Oh, honey, of course I am. This isn't about you. This is about Faye and Diamond. Diamond? Yeah. Faye's mission. She was after Diamond. Kelso's been obsessed with figuring out what Diamond is. What's... Well, that's Sokolova's favorite shape. And Claire has a project code named Diamond. So? Maybe that's what all of this is about. And because your comms are compromised, she's coming home to talk to you because it's not safe to share what she's found. When did you get so optimistic? Oh, it's the hormones. You know you can't trust pregnant women. We're all emotional and irrational and forget everything. I like you pregnant. If it's possible, I think you're even more focused and intelligent and sexy. <laughs> okay. Okay, mister. Okay, if you're gonna start something, you take the battery out of your comms. Eva's right. The Black Tusk know way too much about her sex life. Keener thinks I don't know what he's doing. Do you know what he's doing? Not really. Do you want to know? Not really. Do you think it would make a difference if you did know? Honestly? Probably not. Okay. So what do you want to do? Invent a time machine and go back to 2015 and shoot Gordon Amherst in the head. Cool, 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 cool. So in this alternate timeline, you're in jail for killing a random professor, and I'm in Florida reintroducing Dolly to the Gulf after an oil spill and hoping she doesn't die. Something like that. Well, we never would have met. And this little girl we're making wouldn't exist. You're gonna be such a good mom. And you could be such a great dad. If you learn how to let go of the shit you can't control. Excellent work, Leto. I'm glad you're starting to see the truth about your fearless leader, Manny. And there's only one more test you need to pass, Nix, before I can tell you about Diamond. This is all of them? Allegedly. Who knows who survived the first wave, or the virus, or if you started recruiting off the books. But this is everyone who was enlisted for the program before we were activated. We know the name of every wolf in sheep's clothing. We know the name of every agent who believed we may need oversight. <sighs> Autonomous. We were promised autonomy. To use our judgment and ISAC's intelligence to make the right call. And the powers that be decided we couldn't be trusted with that much power, so they needed guard dogs. Just in case. Their mistake was getting a Labrador to tame a lion. What are we doing? Surviving. It doesn't matter how many hunters we unmask. As long as they have access to their tech, they will be a threat. Cal can always make new hunters. And now, with Sokolova moving her troops, 
It's only a matter of time before they join forces. Do you have a plan, or are you just thinking out loud? I always have a plan. But you're not gonna like this one. <sighs> I never like your plans. But we've come this far. We need a woman on the inside. And you have one? A hunter? Better than that. How? Best wing woman a guy could ask for. Just happens to be a black tusk embedded hunter. No one is that connected. Oh, Hoskins. You have no idea how connected I am. I need you, Hoskins. What is it now, Keener? Uh, we need to set up a base of operations. We need a secure place, preferably where no one knows us, and we can start recruiting and training people for what's coming. You can't have my farm, Keener. Of course not. It's too remote. I want us to hide in plain sight. Okay. Sounds like that's going to be more complicated than necessary given your profile. You've pissed off a lot of people. I know. But for better or worse, it just takes one person to change public perception. And if we have hundreds, well, that's a movement. How is our little experiment going? Better than expected. My reputation precedes me. The civilians you and Theo rescued are spreading the gospel of rogues. Perfect. Theo may fuck it up for us, though. How? A girl. They're sleeping together. Pretty sure he's gonna get her pregnant. Would that be so bad? You know what were my least favorite calls when I was in the MT? No idea. Labor. Best case, you get the patient to the hospital in time. Most of the time, you end up covered in every kind of fluid and holding a screaming fragile baby that is probably gonna get some virus from whatever filthy floor we had to deliver on. Worst case, you lose both of them and have to watch some sad dad's world implode. I don't want that for Theo. Congratulations. Looks like it's time for a status update. Now, you've officially passed the test. After everything you've been through, I know it must be hard to trust that this isn't a trick, that we are on the same side. You want proof? I can show it to you. We've got Cal's roster and what we've set up in Brooklyn. I think you'll be impressed. Well, Agent, if you're ready to meet, I'll send the coordinates and be waiting with your signing bonus. You can't be serious. Those are the terms. Take them or leave them. No weapons, no tech. Only my comms and watch. Yes. Report to the south entrance where I will be escorted to a secure location for interrogation. Yes. And you will keep me in chains until we recover Agent Kelso and she can vet me. Those are the terms. Deal. <laughs> 